Fit. Shake. Great. Percussion. And rub. Today, we are focusing on maracas. In this video, we're going to be focusing on Venezuelan maraca playing, which I think is probably the best maraca playing in the world. And that is a hip shake scrape fast. Volume expressed on hip shake scrape alone and do not represent the opinions of an entity whatsoever of which I have been and now or will be affiliated. Forget about Bez from the Happy Mondays or... I mean, that's probably the only maraca player we know. Um, Now you may be asking why the best maraca players are from Venezuela. And the reason is because they use the same techniques that you would to be a cowboy or a cowgirl with their maracas. So if you're thinking about a lasso or a whip or even milking a cow, they use all these techniques in their maraca playing. And that's what we're gonna to learn today. So today we need just some maracas, if you've got some at home. These can be your, your kids' maracas or they can be uh, fancy ones, or we're looking at shakers, even the little egg shakers that you might have, or tiny maracas, things like that. Or, if you're fortunate enough, you might have some Maximo Kepa maracas. These are the Mercedes-Benz of maraca playing. And maracas, they're beautiful. Look at them, look at that. We'll talk more about these in a little bit. Uh, but if you haven't got any of those instruments, that's all right as well. You can get a couple of jars and half fill them with rice or lentils or anything like that. That will all work. The national dance of Venezuela is horopo, which is a type of uh, waltz. And a waltz is in three, so it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But with a horopo, it has a, a hemiola feel to it. And a hemiola is when you have a, a 3 4 also mixed in with a 6 8. So we'll go very quickly into what that is, and at some point I'll do a video on different time signatures like that. This is our 3 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and I'll add the 6 8. So you can hear a 3 and a 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. There you go. So you've got two different feels, so the dance will change. Sometimes it'll feel like it's dancing in a three, and then sometimes it'll feel like it's dancing in a two. Uh, traditionally, you have a harp, um, a bit like one you might find in an orchestra a little bit, but uh, lots of South American harps are slightly different. So uh, that's something that we're not going to look into because we're hit shake scrape. We're not strings. Uh, second instrument uh, is often a bandola, which is like a mandolin. Uh, again, we're not talking too much like th about that, so you can look into that. We're going to focus on the third instrument that you normally have, which are the maracas. And Venezuelan maracas are played differently to how you might find, say, Cuban maraca playing, or there's also Colombian maracas are very different as well, um, and then you have African, various different African maracas, and I mean, they're an instrument that I found all over, all over the place. Uh, but these are the ones I have, and they're very, very nice maracas. So uh, the maracas I have are these, they're made by a guy called Maximo Tepa. There you go, here's, there's his uh, signature there. These are like the Mercedes Benz. These are classy, classy maracas. You've got a gourd on the top here, hollowed out fruit, uh, no it's a vegetable, hollowed out vegetable and then it's filled with, um, I think these are, have a sort of a seed, they have a seed inside them, I don't know what the seed is. So they have three holes, you can look, there you go, just about see, there's one there, two, three, and the more you play them, the, the seeds, they might be stones actually, play and hit the inside of the gourd. And as they hit the inside of the gourd, they sort of shave the tiny little bits of, of fleshy skin and they come through the hole. And the more you play them, the nicer tone you get. And then you've got this lovely, lovely work, first class work there on the handle. 
That's not to say that you can't do all the same things with a, a pair of maracas that cost, you know, two quid like these. When you think of a cowboy or a cowgirl, there are certain things that they often do. So they often lasso a cow, uh, they might use a whip, and they will do inevitably some milking as well. And these three things are what the maraca players do in Venezuela when they play the maracas. So they're doing the milking on the uh, others, and they're utterly good at that. And they will also use their lasso techniques and their whip techniques playing the maracas. Now this give, gives them a really furious, powerful sound, which I hope the video later on will, will demonstrate because you don't just get that shaking sound with the maracas, you get these sort of very percussive, hard, almost snare drum sound uh, sounds that you'll, you'll hear with the playing. So I think it's now time to give our little demo. Here we go. So the first thing to start is to think about this 3-4 fill. And we're going to use our strong hand, my right hand here, and that is going to create this one, three, one, three, one, three sound. So it sounds like this. Now the nature of a shaker is that it will almost, always play two sounds. It's very hard to just do the one. There's always a little bit of a after sound. So we're really thinking about getting a nice control of it. So that's up and down movement creates that. So we've got this down and up. And we're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's got a bit of a shuffle feel. And it looks like you're milking a very long udder of a cow. A very long one. So we've got that one and three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And this one needs to fit in between. Now at this speed, this isn't the speed of Horopo, normally it's quite a bit faster. And you'll find that actually we're going to get two sounds with this maraca. That's the nature of the instrument that's tricky to hide. But when you speed it up, the second sound of this one will then join one of these uh, one of these notes and you get the illusion that you're having a three sound even though you've got four sounds between the two instruments. That should become clear later on. It's a bit confusing. But you've got that. And we're going to do a lift sound to get that beat too. So we've got one, two, three, 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 one. And it looks strange, but you're now milking two very long udders. And if you listen to that left one, it's got two sounds, so that's tricky at the moment at this speed. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But we're working on a, a down with the right on beat one, and then an up on the beat two with the left, and then an up on the beat three uh, on the right. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so spend some time with that, trying to get a really even sound. So we're now going to go at a slightly faster tempo. Uh, let's say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to do the one and the three in the right hand and the beat two in the left. So let's get that right going first of all. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And add the left. And you'll start hearing we've got a nice three fill. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And those others have got a little bit smaller now. More or less normal sized others. And you've got two different sounds as well. When you play it playing down, you've got quite a strong sound, which really grounds it, and then the upper stroke is slightly weaker. Let's bring it up a bit. Really 
think about the sound, and now you can hear that the second sound of the left hand has joined onto the previous shape. And there we go, we've got a three feel. Bring it up a little bit faster. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And those others have got smaller again. horrible maracas um, you're not going to be able to do that at that speed in the five minutes that this video is the ten minutes that this video is so I really recommend pausing it spending some time coming back to the video later looking at it again then trying it at that slightly faster tempo because you'll find that sometimes you'll get this four fill uh, let's see if I can do it so you've got four sounds you don't really want that so you want to spend some time trying to work on that so that's your basic other technique, your milking technique, and another part of it, of a, a cowboy's skills, are the lasso. No, the whip. So we're going to do a whip. And it's using that really quick wrist action. And the idea is to try and get a snap of all the, sh of all the, the beads hitting the top of it. And you've got lasso sort of movement. Like, subscribe, hit K Smave. Like, subscribe, hit K Smave. Hit, 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 hit,